Has that machine tried to kill you today? It has not, thankfully. Me and uh, the, <laughs> the, the bungholer are getting along great. <laughs> Maker. Welcome down to the shop. Today, I'm going to show you how I'm going to build a prop riot shield along with the help of... Evan and Caitlin! Yay! Evan and Caitlin have been in the shop for the last few days. We've been working on a ton of really great projects. Some of them on our channel. Some of them on your channel. Mm -hmm. What do you guys usually do on your YouTube channel? We build a whole bunch of things and are often trying new materials and techniques for the first time like we're doing here. Yes, I've learned a bunch from your guys' channel, a lot of stuff on CNC, which yeah. has been very helpful. And I'm excited to see how our other videos turn out, but today we're making a riot shield and I've already started. <laughs> so what I have before me here is a quick design I came up with. To make this structurally sound, I have a couple pieces of steel. I think this is overkill. <laughs> But it's what I had. Plus, foam floor mats, of course. Of course. We stopped at Harbor Freight and grabbed some floor mats. <laughs> <laughs> we also have some sheets of acrylic plastic. Again, we're using all this stuff mostly because it's what I had in the shop. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Ready. Let's Great. We have a rough design. We'll do a quick blueprint and then we'll get to making. I want to do a, like a full scale blueprint here yeah. based on some of the materials that we have to work with. Starting with our main structural element, these two beams of metal. Now are they going to run all the way down the sides? I think so, yeah, behind the foam. Yeah. I will be the idea person <laughs> with structural ideas. So you, like the leather will go up and over here and yeah. you slide your arm right. through one and then you grab this right. one. The, the beveled sides, that'll come off directly off of um, the edges of these? Yeah, that seems right. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be made of a few different layers. These metal pieces are going to be at the bottom, so imagine this as the back of the shield that is closest to you. Next, we're gonna do a layer of acrylic. We're gonna have clear at the top and bottom, and then a frosted in the middle, and that's gonna give it a lot of structure. And then on top of that, we're layering the foam pieces. Someone's throwing my one, two, three blocks. I'll give you some of ones. We're layering the foam pieces. These aren't gonna be layered on top of each other, but they will be on top of that frosted piece of acrylic. So the textured foam, the smooth foam, and then the textured foam again. To start, we're gonna break everything down to rough dimensions on the table saw. <laughs> There's our three pieces uh, cut kind of rough to shape. We want to cut some nice decorative bevels on here so I have a speed square, a marker, so I can just hopefully... That won't work, will it? <laughs> There's some smart people. We can figure this out. Here. So you line that up and you can use this angle. Hey, look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. How come I can't do this? It's like way too little. <laughs> Well, being able to see through the material that you're working yeah. on is pretty handy. So this is all going away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the symbol for going away. <laughs> <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle is real. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> cool. We're getting everything figured out. Evan has centered this main center sheet here. And then I've started adding where the, the holes are gonna go. We wanna lay all this stuff out before we take it away. These sheets here, I'm just drawing like registration marks on them, and we can use alcohol to clean those off later, which is awesome. So that when I take this off, when we put it back together, I know it goes just like that. Um, and then we can also lay out the holes to drill through the steel down here, which you can't see there. Now it's time to go to the bandsaw, cut these corners off, and we'll clean them up on the sander. Sander? sanding machine. <laughs> Belt Do sander, yay! Ow, a little pee came out. <laughs> Not too bad though. All right, 
How's Evan going? It's going good. I'm adding holes in the metal bracing so that we can add these quarter 20 threads and assemble everything together. Has that machine tried to kill you today? It has not, thankfully. Me and uh, the, <laughs> the, the bungholer are getting along great. <laughs> Yes, work, my minions, work! <laughs> so I'm gonna drill the... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so I'm gonna drill the holes that are corresponding with the holes Evan's drilling in the metal. That way we can connect through the metal into the acrylic. Very good. on both sides for this one to get the right diameter. Here it goes. There we go. Do you have a... Uh, Words. The, the tool that scrapes along the... A bird, deburring tool. I do. Yes. I have no idea where it is. <laughs> did, you right. did you find it? Didn't find it, but no rush. We can do it right before assembly. I just don't want anyone to slice their fingers. That would be terrible if someone got cut. That would be the worst thing. <laughs> Ow. All right, while my stooges are drilling some holes, hey. I mean helpers. While my helpers are drilling some holes in all the material, these bits here I wanna make out of this day glow uh, pink acrylic that I've got. So I'm just gonna plot those out and get them ready to cut out. Cut my acrylic, this shiny acrylic, down to size. And then I cut the corner of this off on the bandsaw. All right, I've got my table saw set up here really shallow so that I can cut some lines in here at 45 degrees with the miter gauge. So I'll just run it over at that line and then slide it a half inch and hopefully it'll all be nice and evenly spaced. And I can do this safely and then flip it over, right? And do the rest of them. We have all of the plastic pieces cut out, all of the holes are cut, everything assembles perfectly just as we intended it to. Now it's time to add bolts here. Nuts. We're gonna add some nuts here. We're gonna <laughs> tighten everything down. We're gonna raise it up on these two by fours and heat form a little chamfer to it. Raise it up. Oh, it so solid. Set it down. Got my heat gun ready to go. I'm gonna heat up this whole, I gotta do the whole edge so you can bend the whole thing. Yeah. So it'll take a little while of going back and forth. Wow, that's so interesting. There, is it touching? Yeah. yeah. Touching. I'm excited this worked though. I was like, it's not going. Here, I'll help you out, guys. Oh, thank Ooh. you. Ah, uh, thanks. I think you can let go. Is it gonna spring back? No. Oh, no. Oh, it's wow. fantastic. Wow. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Blam. Oh, you were safe. Yeah. Safe from the shield. And then you're just gonna try and match the angle with the other one. Oh, yeah. Oh, there. There, there. That was on top? Yeah, it was on top for a little bit. Yeah, right there. You got it by hand? Got it by hand. All right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the rest of these and see you in a little bit. Let the folks home know what you're up to, Evan. So to get everything centered exactly where we want it, I'm gonna use this centering drill bit right here. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna add a tiny little chamfered pocket for us to drill our big holes into. But what we're doing, the oh, reason yeah. we're attaching these holes is because we're gonna make the attachment points for our handle so that we can hold onto the shield. So we're 
gonna take this apart now and finish the holes we started drilling in the metal pieces on the drill press. And then we are going to add the leather straps because it's cool. And we need a way to hold it. <laughs> that, that too. <laughs> got a nice piece of leather here. Uh, I have no idea where I got this, but I own it. So we're gonna use it. It's nice and supple. It's already black and I have to color it. Yeah. You just cut it into some strips. So for leather this thick, is it better to use like a rotary cutter or uh, like a utility knife? I have a utility knife, so that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, cool. I can use this ruler which has a metal edge for cutting. Time to clean everything up. All of the Sharpie mark on here can come off with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Just like that, cleans right off of the plastic. Also, any marks that we have on the metal can also be wiped off. So I'll get everything tidy up and we can start putting it together. We're pulling an audible, no foam. You heard me right, we're not gonna use foam. <laughs> we really like this frosted, uh, acrylic that we just used by happenstance. It's so futuristic. I know, it looks really yeah. great. You know what would make it even more futuristic? Carbon, Carbon fiber! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> it's late, it's late guys. Cut up some slack on the high five game. This is uh, carbon fiber vinyl and we'll, we're gonna cut some strips to go across it and lay it down right on the acrylic. I think it's gonna look awesome. Y'all are so brave. Yeah. Oh, that's a hole. There's the. Uh, I was like, oh, yeah, there's, there's a, a hole. hole. I, just, I had the same thought at the same time. I was like, what? What is this? Oh, wow. It feels cool. I too. know, it's doesn't really it? Cool. It feels legit. The carbon wrap something. Oh, my water bottle. Look at that. <laughs> that looks so good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we can put this together, but I'm gonna poke through the holes. Two on each side? The hardware gets through it. We're uh, assembling this full shield to the metal frame so that we can position everything and assemble these in the right location. Like that. Okay, so the leather straps that we cut earlier, the one for the hand is gonna go on this side and then the one for the forearm is gonna go on this side and we'll attach it to these two points. Just gonna twist and use yeah. push. Yep. Yay, it's going. Yay! We'll make sure the washer is centered because Bill wants it to be pretty. It and that needs is to be pretty. Very important. It's very important. Ah, <laughs> this is awesome. It feels weighty too. Like you could really. Deflect some um, shield bags. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But we have more decorations to add. All right. So we're lining this piece up against the metal right here. Oh. 
We're almost done, but we uh, cut out a little vinyl decal to add that last bit of yes. accoutrement. And we're using uh, tape here to figure out uh, where the center is. So that should be about centered up and down. Then we'll put some more tape, masking tape down to figure out the left and right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, nope, stay oh. down. Oh. And you're right, the black on black is so fancy. That's classy. It's really classy. Oh, that thing's peeling up. Yep. Oh. oh! That looks so good. It looks awesome! <laughs> Bill, this looks awesome. It does look really cool, but I think we need to show it off in a much more grand fashion. Hey guys, thanks so much for helping me build this riot shield. Thanks for having us, this was so fun. This thing is gonna be super useful for some other things we have planned. And the keen-eyed observer may have seen this show up in the squirt gun video that we did. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and of course, if you're interested in more about how you guys built that squirt gun, uh, people can go to your YouTube channel. Yeah, we built that over at Evan and Caitlin, which hey. is our channel. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and that is why we have the Punish Props and Evan and Caitlin logo right on the front of our shield. It looks so fancy and official, and I love how this design changed over time. It started with this wonderful sketch that you made, and we thought there was going to be foam, and it just evolved, and I, I love it. It's really cool. It's very sturdy, too. Like this, I think, I don't know if it, it probably wouldn't survive a bullet, but it could survive an awful lot. It's very it could. Sturdy. I felt very safe um, with the, the Nerf bombardment. So. <laughs> uh, thank you guys again so much. Could not have done this without you guys, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys make next. Thanks so much for hanging out with us in this shop today. If you have any questions about this build, please let me know in the comments. I'll help you out. Also, all of the tools and materials that we use will be linked down below in the description if you want to do a similar build. And if you're a patron, first, thank you very much. And second, we're gonna hang out a little while longer and chat, do a little extra credit video for you guys, really dive into this project. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next build. Bye. Bye.